The R36S works great right out of the box. You don't need to do anything extra, but if you want the best performance and long-term reliability, here are my recommendations. The first thing you should do is back up the SD card that came with the R36. If this chip ever fails, you'll lose all your games. So backing it up is a must. You'll need a computer and a micro SD card adapter or a card reader to do this. If you've never backed up an SD card before, don't worry. I'm going to walk you through the process step by step. Now, there are two SD cards in the R36. One on the left and one on the right. We need to take out the SD card on the right side labeled TF1OS. Use a plastic tool or your fingernail to gently press on it and release it. Place the micro SD card into the adapter or card reader and insert it into your computer. In order to back up the SD card, we need to download a program called USB Image Tool. This program creates an exact bit for bit copy of the entire SD card. The link for the USB Image Tool is listed down below. We'll be using the USB Image Tool in this tutorial, but you can also use other SD cloning tools like Rufus and Etcher if you prefer. When you download it, it'll come in a zip file format. To unzip it, we need to download 7-zip. Link for that is in the description as well. When you get to the download page, click on the 64-bit version. Almost everyone uses a 64-bit version, but if you really want to verify, you can always right-click the window icon in the bottom left, go to System, and then you'll see your system type. Once you've downloaded both, you'll see them in your Downloads folder. Right-click 7-zip and run as administrator. Press yes and install when prompted. Once that's done installing, right click the USB image tool and click 7-zip and then extract and press OK. Great, now open the USB image tool folder you just unzipped and click on the USB image tool application. Make sure it's set to device. It should look like this. And then click backup. This will take a while, but once it's done, you'll have a good backup file in case your SD card ever fails. This file is going to be over 50 gigabytes, so you could put it on an external hard drive if needed. The next thing I recommend doing is getting a new SD card. The included SD cards are pretty generic and can fail over time, so it's best to get a more reliable one. It's also only 64 gigabytes, so you'll probably want a bigger one so you can add more games. I recommend a 128 gigabyte Samsung Evo Plus, Evo Select, Pro Endurance, or Pro Plus. Links are in the description. If you plan on adding a lot of PlayStation 1 games, go with a 256 gigabyte. Quick side note, although the R36 has two micro SD cards, we're only going to need one SD card. All the games as well as the operating system will go on one SD card. Lastly, I recommend that you update the R36 software to the latest version. This will give you better performance and more features. Now, if you didn't get a new SD card, you can still update the operating system on the original SD card. First, let's go download the latest Arc OS version, link in the description. Once you're on the site, scroll down to here and click any of these three links. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and unzip it like you did with the USB image tool. Now, before we install the new operating system, you need to copy the game files from your original SD card onto your computer's hard drive. This is different from backing up the SD card. So let's walk through it. Go to Windows File Explorer, click on this PC, and open the Easy ROMs drive. Select all the folders by holding the Control button and pressing A. And then copy all of them by holding down the Control button and C or you can right click and click copy. Go to your downloads folder and create a new folder by right clicking in the big square, clicking new, and then folder. Name this folder Easy ROMs. Go into the new folder that you just created and press control V to paste all the files that you just copied. Or you can right click and click paste. When that's done, we can go ahead with the new operating system install. If you're going to use a new SD card, safely eject the original SD card by hovering on the bottom right, looking for this icon, and clicking eject. Once it says it's safe to remove it,
go ahead and remove it and set it aside somewhere safe. Now take the new SD card and put it into the card reader and then into your computer. Now go to downloads and open the USB image tool again. Make sure it's on device and that you have the right drive selected. This is really important. You should only have one choice here unless you have other devices plugged in. If you do have more than one choice, be absolutely sure that you're choosing the right one. A good way to do this is just to remove all other devices that are plugged into your computer, except for that SD card. All right, so to install the new OS, click restore and open the Arc OS folder that we unzipped earlier. Then click on the disk image file. Click yes and let it run through its process. Once done, safely eject the SD card and put it into your R36S. Start it up and let it run through setup. This will take a few minutes. During this time, it's creating partitions and folders and so on. It'll probably restart a couple times as well. Once it's done, shut off the R36S by holding down the function button, which is this button, and pressing the power button. This is the proper way to shut it off from now on. Insert the SD card back into the PC again. You'll see that multiple drives have been created on the SD card. Now, copy all the easy ROM files that you saved earlier into your downloads folder. And you're gonna paste them into the new easy ROMs drive on the SD card. Again, this will take a while. Now, if you're gonna add any additional games, now is a good time to do so. By the way, if you get this pop-up, just click skip these files. Once that's done, you can eject the card and reinsert it back into the R36. Power up the R36 and make sure everything looks okay and that the games are all there. Lastly, make sure you go to the options menu and set device type to R36S. Congrats, you should be good to go now. By the way, I put a link to my quick start guide in the description. It covers the top games to play and helpful information like shortcut keys, how to save games, how to add more games, and so on. It's free, go check it out. Lastly, I put some additional notes and helpful resources in the description as well. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and thanks for watching.